What's going on guys? Larry Hendricks here for GadgetGrizzly.com and I'm doing this video today because a lot of people are having a hard time getting their videos from their phones, uh, say a Droid X in my case or Incredible or whatever, whatever phone you may have and other media or other videos from cameras or any other devices. They're having a hard time getting those videos into iMovie on the iPad so that you can edit them. Well, I'm here to show you how. It's actually very, very simple. I'm actually going to show you with two different formats. All right, there's one program you do need to download that will help out greatly. Um, the way I do it, I, I require this program. So what it is? It's actually Format Factory. It's a free download. Um, just go to format.factory.com or go to Google and search in Format Factory. Um, I'm trying try to remember to put a link uh, to their to their page right below the the video. But go to them. What it does is actually that will transfer any format into whatever format you want. Very, very useful and it handles tons and tons of formats. All right, so the formats we're actually going to change over today and uh, so I can actually edit them into iMovie is one from my Flip Ultra HD and that is a .mp4 video. All right, video format. Another one is from my Droid X. This is a .3GP file format or video format. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make those uh, work with your iPad. Very simple. So we're going to start off with after you download Format Factory, we're going to open that puppy up. All right. Now we're going to go into the videos tab, All right? Not audio, picture, that stuff. Go into the videos tab. Go down to all to MOV. What it is, it's all to the video format of dot MOV, which Apple Apple's QuickTime actually reads off of .mov and all their, their products do off of .mov. That's their main video format. So we're going to transfer to that. All right, so we're going to add those files. I have my picture sitting on the desktop. We're going to grab the vid one from my flip. We're going to add another one of the Droid X. All right, so I have both those here ready to go. All right. Uh, let's go to output settings just to show you what these settings are. If you have any other kind of form, uh, uh, converter, these are the qualities that require are required. Um, video encode AVC, which is H.264, uh, 24 frames per second. AAC audio encode, so on and so forth. I'm sure you guys can read all this. Uh, that's just, just a nice, useful piece of information, you know. All right, so we have them right here. What we're gonna do is hit OK. And it says right here, it's about to convert all to MOV. We're gonna convert them. Uh, actually, I already have mine converted, so I'm not gonna do it. But what you would do is go to here and hit Start. When you hit Start, it'll actually go ahead and convert them pretty quickly, actually. This program is actually pretty pretty quick. It'll convert them to a .MOV format, all right? So like I said, I already have mine formatted and and all set up. So after that, we're going to go ahead and close this down. And Format Factory will actually put it by default, will put the files into a folder they created named FF Output. All right, and there it is FF Output. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. And just to let you know, in case you have a hard time finding it, you don't have Windows 7, you need to actually do it manually for whatever reason, it should be right under Documents. Go to Documents. FF output okay so um, if you when you all finish with it, your videos will be in the FF document or the FF output document folder um, but I've already pulled mine out and finished with them so they'd be in here so all you do from there is you would pull them out of there and you'd put them in whatever folder let's launch up iTunes here real quick they will be in whatever folder that your iTunes syncs your photos. All right, so if we go here, go to photos. All right, you can see whatever folders you have. All right, now I have mine in a .mov videos under my pictures. Very simple, they're right here. This is the folder I keep them under, my .mov. So here they are, already transferred to .mov. All right, so again, whatever folder, it doesn't matter, whatever folder you have those movies in, 
you're going to uh, have uh, I bleh. you're going to have iTunes sync with them. Okay. Oops. Let's uncheck it. Now there are a couple things you have to make sure you have checked before you import the videos into your iPad. One is include videos. Okay, you must have this, otherwise it'll just grab the pictures in these folders. And whatever folder you have the videos in, .mov videos is where I have my folders. All right, so we have those checked. Uh, after that, you would sync them. Like I said, I already have mine synced, so that's that. We're gonna jump over to my iPad real quick, and I'll show you where the videos are. All right, guys, so if everything was done correctly, then all of your photos should be on all your videos rather should be under photos and under that file that I told you to make sure you sync that your uh, videos are going to be under mine was .mov here you go and there they are all ready to go all right now let's see if they work go productivity iMovie all right start your project and there you go that's off of that one let's run them make sure they work so there's no discrepancies. Here we go. This is a video for my Droid X in a dot 3GP video format. All right. Shot on the Flip Ultra HD. Works perfect. Came out fine. That's how you do it. Really simple. Works for just about any uh, file format that you have. All right, guys. So go ahead and uh, get those videos into iMovie. Start editing your butt off. And uh, you guys have fun with it. All right. Again, this was Larry Hendricks for GadgetGrizzly.com, and I will see you guys later.